The violence that erupted in South Sudan in 2013 has forced millions of people to flee the country and left half of the population relying on humanitarian aid for survival. Despite the declaration of a unilateral ceasefire earlier this year, both parties to the conflict continue to engage in military action and steps towards implementing the 2015 peace agreement have been slow. The head of the United Nations mission in South Sudan has briefed members of the UN Security Council in New York about the situation, saying that with only a few months of the transitional period in the 2015 peace agreement left, it's important for regional and international actors to come together to support the process. It is critical now that the international community shows a unity of purpose to support an implementable peace process that leads to credible elections in due course, but only after a period of transition marked by inclusivity and stability. David Shearer says the best chance for resolving the conflict is political mediation through the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, or IGAD, which has set up a high-level revitalisation forum to breathe life into the peace process. Meanwhile, the UN continues to work closely with all parties and to carry out its mandate to build durable peace and protect civilians. This includes working intensively with humanitarians to create a safe and supported environment in communities so that displaced people can return home. We are working closely with our humanitarian partners to align our efforts so that people have a real choice to return home. The quality of services inside the POCs and in outside community needs to be looked at to provide more balance. If we have a first class medical facility inside a POC and no medical support outside, it will clearly deter people from returning back to their, to their homes. It, these efforts will, continue, will also coincide with our own unmiss efforts to increasingly project our peacekeeping forces from static duties out into communities where they are most needed. This includes the deployment of the UN-mandated Regional Protection Force, which will enable peacekeepers to establish a permanent presence in Ye and reinforce troops in Turit and Yambio in the Equatorius region. In his speech, David Shearer also praised humanitarian agencies for their work in reaching those most in need in South Sudan. However, he expressed concern about the continued denial of access for humanitarians trying to reach communities in particular areas in the Greater Upper Nile, Equatorius and around Wau in northwestern South Sudan. He said the transitional government of national unity could support the work of humanitarians by reducing bureaucratic impediments, including the taxes and fees it imposes on aid agencies.